All right, it's Labor Day weekend, guys. I just started my ribs. I'll let you peek. It's hot out here in the Carolinas today. A dipole came down. So, I'm out here in the back deck, hot as can be. Got the Alex loop. My go kit. I realized I got some cabling issues here. I'm gonna have to make some jumpers and stuff. The MCHF. It's kind of quiet out here. Listen to these guys chatter here on the 207. The solar panels, it's like 60 watts of panels. So, we'll charge that battery up, no problem. I got these batteries though. Um, so, these are uh, nickel metal hydride. Um, they don't hold a charge, they do slowly drain, but uh, they charge pretty quick and they work well when they're charged up. It'll be real good to go with the solar panels. I don't want to use a lithium battery pack. Um, might want to take this on a plane and they don't like lithium packs so uh, nickel metal hydride now it's a lead acid so wow it's a shame there were people chatting here and they started the video and they went away Let's see if I can find something here Alex loops are really tight bandwidth so Band conditions are so bad. I called CQ on the beam and I couldn't even get anybody. This is maritime net, you can't even hear anybody. So, I don't know, maybe something will happen later. I need to get a piece of patch cord so I can just tap into the beam while I'm on here. Here's my beam. 13B2 above uh, another 13B2 above a little UHF beam. That UHF beam's a piece of shit. I gotta get a better one. Uh, but I'm not in a good area for this anyway. That's a Mosley TA33 original one. I got some tall trees here. So I don't have that. It's just crazy. My Antron 99. I actually hooked up a CB. They're like so dead on the ham bands. I said, I'm going to put on, plug in a CB. <laughs> Pretty dead on CB too. A TV antenna here I've got. But I'm getting a lot with uh, Hulu's now. So I might, I'm might i not really using that. I paid 100 bucks for that antenna too. And I got the rotor for $10 at a ham fest. <clears throat> I think I might get a 6 meter beam and put it on that rotor. 6 meter beam. Um, my put one of those two meter beams and the UHF beam here and then make it so it elevates too. Do some satellite stuff because I don't know, tropo and there's just nobody around. Do the satellite work maybe. But anyway, wow well, disappointing. I was hoping I could show you. This is a little travel tuner. This thing's kind of nice. Have you seen this MFJ? It'll handle a hundred watts. Maybe 300 watts. I don't know. The meter says it goes to 300. I'm only going to use it for QRP anyway. But if you look at the back, see I can run a balanced line on it. So that's that's kind of neat. My battery, the charger underneath here. I don't really need know if I need the charge controller, but just to be on the safe side, there's a solar panel that folds up, makes it into like a little suitcase thing. And I'll show you on the Alex loop in case you're wondering how tight it is. Listen to the radio while I. Oh, look at that. Hello.
just hanging out. It's funny, that's the same butterfly I've seen a few times around here. It hangs out by our back door. Horrible band conditions. Must have picked the worst day of the year to run QRP. Holy moly. It's uh, really rough out here today. Anyway, pretty bad band conditions today. I've never seen it like this before, ever. Anyway, there you go. That's the setup. So I went with these big panels because even if it's not full sun, I can still get a charge on these batteries. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great weekend. Later.